So um, we're, I'm going to do the foam sclerotherapy now, and I like to do foam sclerotherapy using a blue butterfly cannula. It's called a butterfly cannula because it has a passing resemblance to a butterfly, and it is blue, uh, which means that it's a 23 gauge, is that right, Pam? 23 gauge cannula, um, and it's got a piece of transparent tubing which allows me to see that I've cannulated. The butterfly wings allow me to use very delicate movements as if writing with a pen, so it's very easy, in my opinion, to cannulate small veins with a blue butterfly. Um, okay. So I'm going to do it in the standard way. I'm looking at the uh, offending vein, or the vein, that, the target vein, as I call it. I'm going to adjust the uh, image on the ultrasound. And then again, in transverse section, my preferred method, I'm going to use the butterfly needle to cannulate the vein. Um, it's a very fine needle. It shouldn't cause too much in the way of discomfort. And the vein is two millimeters that we're cannulating, and we've got um, the con confirmation that we're in the vein by the very slow movement of dark blood in the vein. So three criteria for cannulation have been um, passed. Uh, I've seen the tip of the cannula in the vein on ultrasound. That's criterion number one. Number two, I've seen um, dark blood come back, suggesting that we are in fact in a vein, it's not bright red. And criterion three is that it's non-pulsatile, so we're not in an artery. Um, I don't wish to cause Carol any alarm, but in the event that an artery was cannulated and injected, the consequences could be disastrous. So I'm very careful. Uh, we use a cannula and we have those three strict criteria to confirm before we do any injections of foam sclerotherapy. The final criterion, <coughs> and we're very, very cautious about this, is that we see the foam in the vein and also that the injection is painless. Um, this should cause Carol no pain whatsoever and we can see the foam going into the vein, confirmed on ultrasound. So we now have in total four criteria for successful cannulation and injection of foam sclerosum. I very frequently can combine laser with foam sclerotherapy and phlebectomy all in one session. Um, I think it's very safe. I think it uh, deals with any veins which are slightly deeper in the leg that are not accessible to laser or phlebectomy. And I've got no evidence yet to suggest that it reduces the uh, recurrence rate, but um, a priori it would suggest that it does. Thank you.